I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about properties of power series. In problem number 29, we'd like to find the power series for f of x is equal to 1 over 1 minus 3x using knowledge of geometric series. Then let's give the interval of convergence to that power series. All right. So uh, what I have to remember is when I'm dealing with geometric series, what does a geometric series add up to? Well, remember geometric series add up to something with the form a over one minus r. And remember how a geometric series looks is it starts with a plus a r plus a r squared plus a r cubed plus and so on. Okay, this is what geometric series look like. And I'm saying, if I know this, am I able to generate a power series for this function? Well, I look at it and I say, wait a second, that looks a lot like a over one minus r. What would a be in the case of my function? So for one over one minus three x, it's kind of like a is 1 and r is 3x. Agreed? So we could write this 1 over 1 minus 3x this way. We could say that it's 1 uh, plus 3x plus 3x quantity squared plus 3x quantity cubed plus and so on. Uh, another way of doing that is we could say, well, our function f of x, which is 1 over 1 minus 3x, is the sum k going from 0 to infinity of 3x to the k. And notice I started this k at 0 because 3x to the 0 gives me my 1 that I need to start with. And so this is a nice power series form of f of x. Now the other question is, okay, great. So what is the radius of convergence or what is the interval of convergence? Uh, it specifically asks, what's the interval of convergence? Well, I know for geometric series that geometric series only converge if the absolute value of r is less than 1. r, in this case, is 3x. So this thing will converge. So it converges if the absolute value of r, which is 3x, is less than 1. In other words, minus 1 needs to be less than 3x needs to be less than 1. Or another way of saying that is minus a third needs to be less than x needs to be less than 1 third. And for geometric series, geometric series don't really converge at their endpoints, but if you're not so sure of that, just plug in a third. If you plug in a third for x, you get 3 times a third, which is 1. 1 to the k is 1, so I'm just adding up infinite ones. That diverges. If I plug in negative 1 third, I get negative 1 to the k, so I'm adding up 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 uh, plus 1 minus 1 forever, and that just oscillates. So that also diverges by oscillation. So this is my interval of convergence. X between negative a third and a third, not including either endpoint. So this is my interval of convergence, and I'm done.